The Chicago Bears just got some really concerning injury news. And like my mom said, this is why we can't have nice things, right? So the Bears, they started the 2024 season on a positive direction, 24-17 uh, comeback win against the Tennessee Titans. But now we're getting some murkiness here. And per NFL Network's Ian Rappaport, Bears head coach Matt Eberflus said today, Rookie wide receiver Romo Dunze, he's going to undergo an MRI on his knee. And this is before, of course, our game on Sunday against the Houston Texas Texans. That's a night game. So let's hear it straight from Matt Eberflus. The only real concern we have is Rome. Rome's knee. So we'll have to see where that is. He's getting an MRI today and we'll see where it goes from there. And then I'll be able to let you know more on Wednesday. And I'm going to go to this story on sportsillustrated.com just for reference. So now we've got our first round draft pick, played the whole game, actually had more reps than Keenan Allen with 43. Allen had 38 and more from Coach Fluce. I believe it was on a blocking play. They said that's what they talked about. I didn't see it on film, the exact play, but we'll see where he is. Hopefully, he'll be fine. I mean, he also stated that he wasn't concerned of any other potential injuries besides the Odunze injury, so that's good. This injury occurred on a blocking play, and I think it was on his final play of the game. That was on DeAndre Swift's 20-yard screen. If you watch that play, you can see Odunze limping, and I think it, the actual injury was the play before. That was on a swing pass to Vilas Jones. <laughs> he didn't fumble it uh, on that one, but um, then you look at Jones and a Titans player, they kind of collided into the back of Odunze's knee. And um, yeah, you can see in the video, Odunze grabs his right knee. If you watch him fall to the ground, you can see his right knee twist a little bit and it bent a little awkwardly. And this ended with him leaving the game with 422 remaining in the fourth quarter. So um, yeah, impossible to speculate on this injury specifically, an MRI is forthcoming, and that's going to tell us what we need to know. If everything's intact, let's pray for that. Odunze, he could play next week or the week after. It could be just a tweak, but worst case, if there's a major tear in the knee, that we could be looking at him missing the season, and it's just a wait-and-see situation. It's Yeah, it's just not fun. He was targeted if we kind of want to look at the game. He was targeted four times against Tennessee. He got that one pass off that crazy deflection for an 11-yard gain. Then he fumbled the ball. Tevin Jenkins grabbed it. Uh, yeah, this offense struggled as a whole. I think we kind of knew that was going to happen. I didn't think it was going to be to this extent. But, um, yeah, Caleb Williams had a tough time. He did never really got going. He finished with just 93 yards on 14 of 29 yards passing. Um, I'm going to talk about Keenan Allen in just a minute because he's struggling with an injury himself. Just kind of a little groundwork. I'm sure you don't need it, but this is our number nine pick. The hope is appearing with Williams as our QB wide receiver duo of the future. And um, yeah, he, he has so many things going for him. He's going to develop big time in this offense. It's a long time play. But um, if we look at this just a little more, Chicago's need, the offense, it needs a little more time to gel. And uh, let's just hope that he doesn't miss time. So let's talk about Keenan Allen for a minute. And there's been concern over his heel difficulty. He's obviously been struggling with it. It led to him being questionable coming into this game. But I mean, he appeared to have a full complement of snaps. And uh, the injury to Odunze, that comes when there's also concern about Keenan Allen's heel. Keenan Allen was targeted 11 times on Sunday, only had four receptions, and one of those targets was a drop that Allen had on a throw that would have been Caleb Williams' first NFL touchdown. I mean, it was an easy one. But if you kind of rewatch the game, I think I'm going to spend a little more time watching the tape. He appeared to be limping. That's a sign that he re-aggravated that heel injury that had him on the injury report. And um, Iberflu said in his presser, the team isn't concerned with Allen's status for Sunday night's game against the Houston Texans, but there's going to be some questions as to whether he's going to be 100%. We're looking at what's next then. What do we do? Second-year wide receiver Tyler Scott. 
inactive for this game. I don't think it's injury related. So if Odunze is forced to miss time, chances are that Scott will be the one to slide in and uh, of being the number three wide receiver on offensive sets that require one. And I think this is this is a bit of some much needed encouragement. I mean, Scott, he was arguably the best player in camp during a lot of the practices, even going back to OTAs. I mean, his development is looking to be sorely needed, and it looks like it's actually happening on this offense. This offense might be getting thin before it's even had a chance to gel. And uh, and yeah, don't want to be all Pollyanna. You guys know I try to be positive. Uh, at least we have Tyler Scott to possibly take over that role, and uh, that's why we have more receivers on this team, and that's why we have provided depth on the practice squad. So, Allen, if you look at it, 29 yards through four receptions, uh, 7.3 yards per reception. That's not great. Um, we had that drop. He came up limping after a failed attempt to the end zone. And uh, yeah, this offense is clearly going through some growing pains. Allen was seen headed to the medical tent for examination late in the game as well. And uh, yeah, we're just going to see what's going on. And the only news that we have on Allen is a uh, fellow wide receiver, DJ Moore. He was talked to today. He didn't seem overly concerned about Allen. He even took the chance to troll his new teammate. And I, I don't know. I just love DJ Moore. He's always entertaining. So he was on uh, 670, the score. He was on Mully and Hodge. And he was asked about Keenan's status. And uh, <laughs> here's here comes a troll. He thinks Keenan Allen's health is fine. Nothing to worry about. Even though Allen's been dealing with this heel injury. To hear it straight from DJ. Yeah, he's just an old man. He's good. <laughs> Yeah, he's an old man. He's 32 years old. He now has this nagging injury. Um, yeah, he, uh, Moore isn't stressed about it, but we'll have to wait and see see how this injury shakes out. There's certainly something to monitor here, though. Al Allen missed some time. I believe it was four games last season with, uh, with uh, San Diego. I always say San Diego, but with the LA Chargers with what was called a pedal heel bruise. This is something to monitor closely, and this is not something that he has never dealt with before. Let's go through some positive here. I mean, when you have an offense that's still kind of struggling to gel, which is obvious what we saw this week, let's look at this defensive group. I mean, we've got the defensive line. I'd give them an A+. plus. They're considered a weak spot, but they just they kept the Bears into this game and especially new acquisition Taylor. He was all over the field linebackers, Tremaine Edwards, TJ Edwards, just absolutely superstars during this game. And I think one of the turning points was when Tremaine Edmonds, when Tremaine Edmonds made a tackle in space on third down as Tennessee was just converting third down after third down after third down that to me, instead of these big splash plays, that to me was actually like the turning point in the tone of this defense when the defense actually took this game over. We also looked at our best secondary in football, Tyreek Stevenson, Jalen Johnson, both had interceptions. Stevenson took his all the way to the house and that won the game. And also, I mean, Jonathan Owens. It seemed like during the offseason, he was added almost as an afterthought. But um, yeah, we're not going to call him Mr. Biles anymore. He just had, he just came up with the ball after Daniel Hardy blocked the punt and uh, yeah, just really breathed some life into this whole team. Uh, I, you know what? I don't want to talk about Velas Jones fumble. Um, I think it's time for him to no longer return kicks. DeAndre Carter looked great returning the ball. And I think in a pinch, he can provide some wide receiver depth that we really sorely miss. You guys, this isn't good news. We can't always have something nice. But it is a really positive thing that uh, you have a team offensively that just didn't even play even close to expectations, but still this defense took over and won the game for the Chicago Bears. And we can celebrate that. It's a W in the column. Later on in the year, we're not going to care how we got it. So you guys let me know what you think. Bear down. We are going to prepare for Houston. And man, let's hope for good news on this Romo Dunze knee injury. Talk to you soon. Bye.